So we are just at the end of our three days worth of walking that we've done in Ullapool and as you can see behind us there is a ferry there because that means we are heading over to Stornaway on the Isle of Lewis and Harris for the next part of our adventure. Yeah, really looking forward to this. Uh, I've been up here as a child, Dougs, you've never, never been, been, up been here. across, nope. So it's kind of a new adventure for us both and there's going to be quite a few things to see and do up there. So this video is going to be basically our top five things to see and do on the Isles of Lewis and Harris. So hopefully you will enjoy this. The Lewis War Memorial is dedicated to the 1,151 men from the Lewis area who lost their lives in World War I and those who survived the war, only to drown while returning home during the 1919 sinking of HMY Iowa Air. Completed in 1924, the memorial is situated at the highest point of the town of Stornoway. The memorial takes the form of a Scottish baronial tower, rising to a height of over 85 feet. The tower is built from local nice stone dressed with Aberdeenshire granite. It has a 20 foot high entrance chamber with four further chambers dedicated to each of the four parishes of Lewis. A staircase in metal and granite leads up the tower to the top turret. Due to deterioration of the stonework and the internal wrought iron staircase, the tower was closed to the public in 1975. With the building unfit for public use, the plaques were refurbished and mounted outside the tower on granite stones. A viewing path and seating area was also provided. This last project was completed in time for Armistice Day 2002. Fincarlary Broch was probably built in around 200 BC and may have been occupied by a local chief as a symbol of status and control over the local landscape and resources. Brochs appear only in Scotland. They consist of dry stone towers formed of two concentric walls with a narrow passage and small cells. A stone stair corkscrews between the inner and outer walls to the top. There are well over 500 brochs in Scotland, most of them found in northern and western Scotland and the islands. Duncarloway is a striking monument in the landscape. This impressive example of Iron Age architecture may have been designed to make a bold statement of status, wealth or power. It was also easily defended, sitting high in a rocky outcrop with wide views for miles around. The broch tower is in an excellent state of repair. It's the best preserved Iron Age building in Lewis, and at 9 metres tall, one of only a handful of Brock towers, surviving to near its original height. Unfortunately, Duncarloway Brock is currently closed for conservation works as of filming in June 2022, but you can still walk up the track to view the exterior. The Butt of Lewis Lighthouse is situated at the northern end of the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides. It was engineered by David Stevenson in 1862. The station's claim to fame, according to the Guinness Book of Records, is that it is the windiest spot in the UK. Little is known of the station's early days, although the first light displayed was probably fixed rather than flashing but this is not certain. The lighthouse was manned by three keepers who lived at the station with their families. The fog signal was discontinued on the 31st of March 1995 and the light was automated on the 30th of March 1998. Today's optic system is a biform setup 
consisting of a pair of two-tier high-powered LED marine lanterns flashing in synchronisation, giving both reliability and efficiency. The structure is a red brick tower, which is unusual for lighthouses, standing 37 metres high. There are 168 steps to the top of the tower. Shrouded in mystery, the Callanish standing stones have drawn visitors to this ancient and inspiring site in the Outer Hebrides for thousands of years. Overlooking the beautiful Loch Rogue, above the village of Callanish on the Isle of Lewis, the sacred wonder of the stones offer visitors a rare invitation to reach out and touch the past. The Callanish standing stones are an extraordinary cross-shaped setting of stones erected 5,000 years ago. They predate England's famous Stonehenge monument and were an important place for rural activity for at least 2,000 years. It is not known why the standing stones of Callanish were erected, but the best guess is that it was a kind of astronomical observatory. According to one tradition, the Callanish stones were petrified giants who would not convert to Christianity. Another legend is that early on midsummer morning, an entity known as the Shining One walks the length of the avenue, his coming heralded by the call of the cuckoo. The Callanish standing stones are free to visit and open all year round. Luskintyre Beach is found on the west coast of South Harris and is one of the largest and most spectacular beaches on the island. You'd be forgiven for thinking that Luskintyre Beach is the sort of place that exists only in the travel brochures of the South Pacific. With its expansive stretches of white sand and impossibly stunning blue-green water, it's little surprise that Luskintyre has been rated one of the world's top beaches surpassing the Virgin Islands and some of the finest beaches in Italy and Spain. Luskintyre Beach is situated close to the A859 on South Harris and can be accessed via the minor road which joins the A859 close to Loch Finn Castle. A small free car park is available at the end of the road just yards from the beach. Hopefully you have enjoyed our top 5 things to see and do on Lewis and Harris. We'd love to know if you've been to any of these places yourself, and if you have any recommendations for places you think might be missing from our list. If you've never been to Lewis and Harris before, perhaps this is just the inspiration you need to make that trip a reality. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please consider liking and subscribing. As always, we shall see you on another hike.